can hold me down There is only one His name is Jesus Death won't have the final say It's finished When the stone was rolled away
today. Come on, just lift up the name of Yahweh, unfailing one, King of kings, Lord of lords. Hallelujah, Lord. Our hearts overflow, Lord. Oh, with praise, oh God, with honor, with worship to the one, hallelujah, who is worthy, worthy, worthy of all our praise, all glory, all honor, all praise belongs to Him, hallelujah, whose name is Jesus. King of kings, Lord of lords, hallelujah, worthy of our highest praise, hallelujah, 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 Jesus, Jesus, we proclaim Jesus, Jesus, hallelujah, ah, yes, Lord, yes, Lord, 
Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Can we give the Lord a big, big hand of praise today? Come on, church. Come on, give Him praise. Hallelujah. Those of you are at home right now, come on. Hallelujah. Oh. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Ah, oh. Lord, you just, ah, oh, you just so filled us, Lord, with grace, Lord. With mercy, Lord, we are so full of your presence today. Ah, oh, be strong and be courageous, for you are with us wherever we go. Hallelujah. We thank you and we honor you today. Bless our hearts, bless our spirits, revive, awaken, renew us today. Bless your servant and your word today. This we ask in Jesus Christ's name we pray. And all God's people say aloud, Amen and Amen. Woo! Hallelujah. Everybody shout glory. Oh, hallelujah. I think you can do better than that. Yung mga nasa on side. Come on, everybody shout glory. Woo, hallelujah. Praise God. Pwede ba natin palapakan uli si Lord? Hallelujah. Woo. Glorious day, church. Hallelujah. Arise, shine, for your light has come and the glory of God has risen upon you. And everybody shout, Amen to that. Hallelujah. Praise God. Welcome to our church online. Hallelujah. Praise God. Welcome back. Hallelujah to our on-site celebration worship. Pwede ba natin palapakan si Lord Jan? Hallelujah. And to our first-time guest, Welcome home. This is now your spiritual family. And before you sit down, could you please give your neighbor a high five, air five, at pakisigaw mo lang sa kanya. Smile. Come on. Smile naman dyan. Hallelujah. Praise God. Kayo po na na. You can be seated right now. Kayo po na nandito sa on-site worship celebration natin. Siguro next time, lagay nyo ng smiley face ang inyong mga face shield. Lahat po ng nag appreciate yan. Magsabi ng Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Whew. Can we just appreciate our worship team today? Can we just... Come on, church. Hallelujah. What a powerful... Whew. Hallelujah. Gusto ko umawit na lang talaga ng todo. Hallelujah. But, you know, sabi nga, you know, yung, uh, yung uh, worship uh, service, yung worship celebration, nandun yung, nandun yung worship, nandun yung word. And nandun yung giving. And everybody said, Amen. Come on, everybody said, Amen. Amen. Praise God. Are you ready for the word today, church? Before I go to the word, I just want to continuously appreciate those who join us on our Seeking Jesus Prayer and Fasting Week. Pwede ba natin palakpakan si Lord John? We appreciate you and we honor you and thank you for joining us. And for those na hindi po nakapag-fasting uh, precisely for medical reasons, we understand that. Yun po yung medyo, medyo mataas yung sugar o yung medyo mataas yung BP, okay lang po yan. But thank you anyway for joining us in prayer every night. Pwede ba natin appreciate naman yung ating mga pastor na nag-share uh, sa atin, you know, Pastor William, Pastor Ru, and Pastor Jerry. Come on, let's honor them. You know, I was just, ako mismo na blessed. You know, while hearing you know, they them exhort the word of God to us. Whew. Everybody said, Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Ang lahat ng mga nagkapina. Hallelujah. Pwede bang magsabi ng Amen naman dyan? Yung mga nagsamjupsal na, nag-Starbucks, come on! Nag-milk tea, nag-steak, nag-sisig, magsabi ng malakas na, Amen. Hallelujah. Whew. Praise God. Five days, no? Talaga naman. Whew, hallelujah. Alam niyo po, sa totoo lang, uh, one of the, alam niyo po, one of the best part, sa akin po, personally, no, ito pong last week na to na five days natin na prayer and fasting. Sa akin po, sa totoo lang, maliban dun sa, you know, you abstain from food, and you know, yung karne, yung kape, you know, one of the highlight po sa akin, you know, for me personally, ang nakatulong ng malaki sa akin, yung nag-fasting 
tayo literally sa social media and media and you know we I stopped watching you know uh, negative news nakatulong lang malaki yung na talagang naramdaman ko talaga talagang delete 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 alam niyo yun yung talagang yung yung na, nalinis yung at yung aking pag-iisip no talagang that's why I appreciated that no, I spent more time in, in prayer, you know, in worship, and reading my Bible, you know. And I hope you did that as well. Come Saturday, of course. Uh, oh, tapos na. Oh, Saturday, I was contemplating, nag ako. Would I open my social media account? Will I open YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, or even Facebook? And, you know... Uh, try to look at the recent news and the latest news kasi hindi na ako updated especially yung mga yung nangyayari sa America you know uh, so by the way binabati ko po yung mga uh, taga LA pwede ba nating palapakan yung mga His Life LA come on church hallelujah Woo! No, talaga I want to be updated pero you know nagkakaroon ako ng dilemma yung kasi parang uh, yung uh, nasanay na ako na wala mo na ako naririnig nababasa but of course, kahit po ba yun nandiyan pa? And I, and, I, and I believe, lahat po tayo yung... So I started peeking. I started, you know, <laughs> looking a little bit of uh, the news. Kahit po ba yun nandiyan pa? Kahit po ba yun nandiyan pa? I started browsing. And guess what? After a few minutes, alam niyo po, naramdaman ko na grievang spirito ko. Seriously. Narandaman ko, medyo nalungkot ako. I realized, ito po yung na-realize ko, that there is really too much negativity on the news. You could hardly see good news. Confusing information. You know, yung COVID, you know, iba-iba na yung mga sinasabi ng tao. Ay, hindi mo na alam kung anong paniniwalaan mo. The shallowness of social media, kahit ano na lang, pinupost. Too much criticism. In other words, there is too much darkness. You know, diba last Sunday we defined darkness as great turmoil and chaos brought about by the absence of light. No wonder. Yung deep darkness hovering on people it is really brought about by the toxic atmosphere and environment that we see and hear every day, every hour, every minute. Kaya nga, maraming nalulungkot, natatakot, nadidepress. Kasi, hindi nila namamalayan, they are absorbing too much negative and toxic news and information every day. You know, for the last five days, yung feeling ko para akong bagong sasakyan na, na car wash o yung parang bagong damit na, especially yung white na shirt na nilabahan. Di ba pag ang sasakyan, bagong car wash, at pag ito ay nadumihan, kita, kita, kitang kita mo agad. Kapag ang isang damit na puti ay nilaban mo, no? kitang kita mo agad yung dumi. And that is what I was experiencing. And what is sad is that, hindi pa sa atin dahil walang break sa social media, Nasanay na tayo yung bang, bang being bombarded with negativity, with darkness. That is why hindi ka magtataka. Maraming nalulungkot kayo. Maraming nadidepress. And they don't realize they are absorbing too much of darkness. And I will be talking with our pastors throughout the whole week, the, the year. I'm sorry, the whole year. You know, kahit isang araw na fasting at limang araw na fasting sa social media. You know, ev at least every quarter. You know, yung shutdown. Kung isan yung marami sa atin, manhid na. No wonder. Toxic yung isip. Could you please look at your neighbor right na Mukha ba yung toxic ngayon? Hallelujah. Kahit naka-face shield, ha? Toxic yung attitude. Toxic yung ugali. 
Toxic yung pananaw sa buhay. Tapos kumakain pa ng toxic. Sugar. Salt. Kayo po ba yung pa? Are you with me, church? Nandito ba yung mga taga-church on-site ngayon? Come on, can I hear, you know, a loud amen from the people of the church on-site? Come on, palapakan naman natin si Lord. Okay, iparamdam nyo na buhay kayo. Meron mga tao dito. Hallelujah. You know, ang daming gustong maka, makarating dito. You know, kung, kung pwede lang na yung... Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. Pastor Jerry, are you here? Oh, yeah. Ah, buhay si Pastor Jerry. Hallelujah. No? Amen. <laughs> buhay daw siya kasi kumain na siya. Hallelujah. Praise God. Woo! A toxic mind... Time is a toxic body equals a toxic life. Kayo po ba yung nandyan ba? Hallelujah. You know, there is this physicist whose name is Kirchhoff. No? Uh, he was a physicist and he came up with what he calls the law of thermal radiation. No? Kirchhoff's law of thermal radiation. He came up with this theory. Ang sabi niya, a poor absorber is a poor emitter. On the other hand, sabi niya, a poor, a, a good absorber is a good emitter. When you are a good absorber, you emit something good. He went on saying, hotter objects emit brighter light. Can I hear a loud amen naman dyan? Hallelujah. Yung mga, uh, ang interpretasyon ko dito, yung mga Kristiyanong may init kay Lord, nagliliwanag, nagsashine, and everybody said, Amen. Kaba, palakpakan mo si Lord dyan. Hallelujah. Amen! Yung mga tao malalamig. Parang bangkay na. Hallelujah. Lahat ng mga may init kay Lord ngayong araw na ito, magsabi ng Amen. Hallelujah. This brings us back to our prophetic word. Isaiah 60 verse 1 and 2. Ang sabi dito, Arise. Everybody say, Arise. Oh, hallelujah. Arise, shine, for your light has come, and the glory of the Lord is risen upon you. Verse 2, look at this. For behold, happy jam, the darkness shall cover the earth. That's what's happening in, in the world today. And deep darkness, the people. That's what's happening on people today. But, everybody say, but, the Lord will arise over you and His glory will be seen upon you. And everybody said, Amen to that. Again, let me remind you, God is commanding us. God is speaking to us. Sabi niya, anak, Jerry boy. Hallelujah. Wow, may Jerry, may boy pa. Hallelujah, no? Talaga. Whew. Amen. Huh? Romel. Hallelujah. <laughs> Yan ang tanong pangalan ni Pastor Ru. Hallelujah, no? Ito, ito yung sabi ni Lord. Ito yung kuman ni Lord sa atin. It is in the midst of darkness and chaos and trouble in the midst of toxic Culture, God commands. Sabi niya sa iyo at sa akin, Anak, arise. Come on. Come on, hallelujah. Arise. Ano ibig sabihin ng arise? You know, take up your position and get ready for action. Di ba naalala niyo last Sunday, ito yan. Arise, ang ibig sabihin yan, lift yourself up physically, emotionally, mentally, spiritually, so God can start the good things in your life. Come on, He can begin the work oh, that is set before you. Sino niniwala mayroong gustong gawing napakabuti ni Lord sa buhay mo? This year, come on! So, wag kang magmukmok. Wag, again, no? wag kang mag-pity party. Bangon. Everybody say, bangon. Hallelujah. Whew. Pag hindi ka bumangon, baka bangungutin ka. Hallelujah. Kayo po ba yung nandyan pa? Everybody say, arise. And then the word says, shine. This is the key word that we did not mention last Sunday. And we will focus on it today. Lima yung key word at hindi natin pinag-usapan yung word na to. 
Arise. What's the word? Next line. Come on, shout it out. What's the word? So our message for today is entitled, Get Up and Light Up. Come on. Come on. Woo! Everybody say, woo! Hallelujah. Get up and light up. Isaiah said, you know, arise, shine, for your light has come. Arise, shine, for your light has come. Come. Ano niyo po, kuminsan yung English Bible translation, hindi, uh, kuminsan nagkukulang doon sa mas malalim na kahulugan nung, uh, nung pagkakasulat nung, uh, uh, especially the Old Testament, because the Old Testament is written in Hebrew. So, ang Hebrew uh, meaning ng sinabi ni Isaiah, for your light has come. The Hebrew meaning of this statement goes like this. Arise, shine, for your light has come into you. It did not just come on you, but the light has come into you. Hindi lamang mababaw. Hindi lang surface. But the light has penetrated your soul. Your heart and your spirit. And everybody said, Amen. Light has come inside of you, not just on you. Did you hear that, Pastor Jerry? You see, let's make one thing clear here. You and I cannot reproduce light. We don't have that. But we can receive it. And everybody said, Amen. We receive His light and we reflect His light. Just like the moon. Yung one. Did you know the moon has no light on His own? It receives light from the sun, S-U-N, and then reflects it back to earth. And we call it reflected light. Are you following right now? Kaya nga po, you know, one of the, you know, isang magandang sight, no? Sa, sa, uh, in a darkest night is when you see the full moon shining, reflecting the light of the sun. It's a wonder. You know, do you know that the Bible says, the heavens declare the glory of God? As if the moon is speaking to us. As if the moon is saying to you, Hey guys, like me, I have no light of my own, but I have the sun to reflect it back to you. Hindi po ba yun ng buhay natin dati? Kayo po ba yun nandyan pa? Listen to this. The moment you turn away from sin and turn to God and surrender your life to the S-O-N, to the Son. His name is Jesus Christ. You know what will happen? He will light up every dark corner in your soul with His grace and His glory. Come on, church. Hallelujah. God has reminded me of my old life before living in sin grabe yung bisyo alak sugal drugs sabong i used to live that life at 17 years old you know you know yung mga tao do sa subdivision namin you know wala na pag-asa ng buhay ng taong to you know but at 17 years old light came into my heart it changed my life around. I received His grace and His life, and I was changed. Amen! Like the moon. Para yung buwan, katulad natin, we have no light. But when Jesus Christ came, He changed everything. That is your life. 
And everybody said, Amen. That is why you're here today. Come on, church. That is why kayo mga nasa church online, nagtsatsaga kayo dyan sa cellphone. You know, sa TV kasi, ayaw mo pigilan ng kaawa yung light na binigay ni Lord sa'yo. Come on, palakpakan mo si Lord dyan. Hallelujah. That's why you miss church. You could hardly come. You know, you could hardly wait to come to church. John the Beloved captured it this way. John 1, 1 to 5 and 9 to 12, it says here, In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. Look at this. All things were made through Him, and without Him was not anything made. That was made in Him was life, and the life was the light of man. Palapakan nga natin si Lord John. Hallelujah. Woo. Oh, next line. The light shines in the darkness and darkness has not overcome it. And then it moves up to verse 9. Look at this. Sabi dyan, the true light which gives light to everyone was coming into the world. He was in the world and the world was made through him. Yet the world did not know him. And uh, yung mga next verse, the paborito natin ito. Some of you have memorized this. I always say it sa altar call na after our altar call. And I hope it, you know, magkaroon ng bagong revelation sa yung ngayon ng verse ito. Sabi dyan, 11, He came to His own and His own people did not receive Him. Verse 12. Ito po yan. Come on. Pasahin natin. Sabi dyan, But, everybody say, But, to all who did receive Him, who believed in His name, He gave the right to become children of God. Everybody say, Woo! Hallelujah! Are you a child of God, church? When the light has come into your life, and receive Him, you receive light, you became a child of God. You receive the Son and you receive life. And His life is the life of all mankind. All of us have a story. Just like me. You have a story. There is not any one of us here that doesn't have a story of getting knocked down in life. Sino pong nakaka-relate dyan, no? Come on, kanon siya nakakarelate. Tayo, abo ang mga nandit, di ba? Di ba? There is not any one of us here na hindi nakaranas na manakdown sa buhay. Meron nandito ba yung mga taga onsite? Come on, hallelujah. Ha? Huh? Nakaka sino nakakarelate diyan? Magsabi ng amen. Ha? Huh? There is not any one here that hasn't been wounded in life. You were hurt. Wounded. Broken. Lahat tayo may ganong kwento. Lahat tayo nasaktan. We all have a story like that. We all have a story of being broken. But the story didn't end there. Can I hear an amen? Can I hear an amen? Because his story one day was connected, impacted your story. And that is the story of Jesus Christ. Come on, palakpakan mo si Lord John. When Jesus Christ came into our lives, our story was changed. Come on! From brokenness to wholeness. From being wounded to healing. Hallelujah. Oh, yes, Lord. From being knocked down. Now you sing like an old song that we used to sing. Sabi nung kanta, He lifted me up from the miry clay. He guided my feet from the king's highway. And that is the reason why I'll sing and I sh I'll shout. He lifted me up from the miry clay. Sino po nakaranas dyan? Come on. Hallelujah. Dati tayo po ay nabubuhay sa putik. Pero iniangat tayo ng pag-ibig, biyaya ng Diyos. Can I hear an amen? Sino po rito yung nare-revive? Sino po rito yung... Sino po rito yung nahaalala mo yung pinanggalingan mo na dati kang masama, dati kang makasala, ngayon binago ka ng Diyos. Come on, palakpakan mo nga si Lord dyan. 
Pastor Jerry, naalala ko nung sa San Fernando, talagang, you know, billiard king ka, di ba? Yung talagang, you know, tapos uh, pag lasing ka, binabato mo yung mga kapitbahay mo. Pero nung binago ka ng Diyos, hallelujah, sila ay namangha. Akala ko nga, tatalunan mo si Efren Bata Jr. Eh, no? Talaga. By the way, kapampangan po yun, no? Hallelujah. Can I hear an amen? That is why today, you don't talk about your wound anymore. You talk about the overcoming healing power of the cross of Jesus Christ in your life. And everybody said, Amen! This is our message today. Get up and light up. Tell your neighbor right now. Come on, sige, wala mo sabi mo sa kanya. Get up. Come on. Light up. Amen. Para maintindihan natin ito, para maintindihan kung ano kasimple itong message na ito. Ganito lang yan. I-recall natin yung Sunday school song. This little light of mine. Come on. I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine. Come on! I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine. I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. Ready, man? Come on, palapakan yun naman yung sarili nyo. Hallelujah. Jesus said it best in Matthew 5, 14 to 16. He said these words. Jesus said, You are the light of the world. A city set on a hill cannot be hidden. Alam niyo po, nung binabasa ko po ito, you know, hindi ko masyadong naintindihan until I came to the land of Israel only to discover that Jerusalem, Israel itself, is a land of hills and mountains. Did you know that Jerusalem, the city of Jerusalem, is sitting on a hill? Jesus said, you are the lights of the world. A city set on a hill cannot be hidden. Nor do people light a lamp and put it under a basket, but on a stand, and it gives light to all in the house. Next line, Jesus said, in the same way, let your light shine before others so that they may see your good works and give glory to your Father who is in heaven. Pwede ba nating palakpakan naman si Lord dyan? Napansin niyo po ba yung sabi niya, and others will give glory? Look at that. Nandun yung glory. Nang ibig sabihin niyan, pag tayo daw ay nag-light up, you know, our lives are shining up. You know, even people that are in darkness, you know, yung mga hindi mananampalataya, they will give glory to God when they see your light, your good work, shining up. Nandiyan pa po ba kayo? Let your light shine. Anong ibig sabihin ni Jesus dito? To reflect the light inside of you. Yan ang sinasabi ni Jesus. Huwag mong itago yung light na nasa loob mo. There is light inside of you. Reflect it. Let them see your good works and glorify my Father in heaven. You know what Jesus is saying here? It means... Para sinasabi ni Jesus sa atin, it means to absorb the law of thermal, thermal radiation, to absorb God's glory, God's goodness, and then begin to emit His goodness to others. Yan ang sabi ng 1 Peter 2, 9. Anong sabi sa atin dyan? You know, just show it up, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah, Rabba, Shaka, Taraba. Ano sabi niyan? But you are not like that. Sabi ni Peter. For you are a chosen people. You are royal priests. A holy nation. Kaya kanina, grabe lang yung kanta natin kanina. Holy. Woo. 
Yun na naman parang nasa langit na tayo. Hallelujah, no? Come on, you're holy. You are a holy nation. God's very own possession. You know what God is saying to you? I own you. You are mine. You are the apple of my eyes. Can I hear an amen? You know, yun ang, yun ang tingin ni Lord sa'yo. Can I hear an amen? Can I hear an amen? You are valuable. God's very own possession as a result. Ito yan. You can, come on, show others what? Come on. You can show others. Can, can you just read that? Come on. Come on. Kayo na narito. Anong, anong nakalagay? You can show others. Come on. Shout it out. Shout it out. The goodness of God. For He called you out of darkness into His wonderful light. Come on. Give God praise to that. Get up and light up. How do you do it? To start off? Number one, how do you light up? Simply lang. Number one, show others the goodness of God in your life. Pwede ba natin palakpakan naman si Lord dyan? By the way, gusto ko lang siguraduhin, sino po rito yung gusto mag-light up? Taas ang kamay, come on. Woo, yes. Kung talagang totoo kang kristyano, yan ang sinasabi ni Lord sa'yo. Come on. Amen. You wanna light up? How do you do that? You know, Simple. Show others how good God is. Now, let me ask you. Lubhabang naging napakabuti si Lord sa buhay mo, magtaas ka ng kamay. Kung talaga, sino nakaranas dito ng kabutihan ng Diyos? Oo, hallelujah. So, simple lang. Kung naranasan mo yung kabutihan ng Diyos, show others the goodness of God. Amen? How do you do it? You know, simple. You do this by being kind. Not grumbling. Hello? Not complaining. Not angry. Can I hear an amen? Hallelujah. Yung pagiging mabait mo sa kapwa mo. Hindi nagre-reklamo. Hindi galit. Kayo po ba yung nandyan pa? Ito yan eh. Kapag ikaw ay puspos ng goodness ni Lord, lumilitaw sa mukha mo yan. Can I hear an amen? Pero pag galit ka, Nakakita ka na ba ng galit na nakasmile? Come on, hallelujah. Nakakita ka na ba ng, ng, ng yung <laughs> no, nagre-reklamo na, na maliwala sa mukha? Lahat ng mga nagre-reklamo, lahat ng nag, mga galit, madilim ang mukha. Tingnan mo nga yung mukha nung katabi mo. Hallelujah, praise God. Ha? Di ba? Pero kapag ikaw ay puspus ng kabutihan ng Diyos, woo, nagiging mabait ka. Hallelujah, praise God. Tell your neighbor right now, mabait ako ngayon. Hallelujah. Come on! Amen! So Jerry, are you here? Ooh, hallelujah! Isi ka rito po yan eh. Don't just talk and even sing. Ito pa yun, no? For God is so good. Oh, ito pa yun, no? Pag nasa church ka, you know, pasan, pag nasa Sunday ka, God is so good. Paglabas. Nakita niyo nga, pusa, yun know? Pag nasa loob ng church, God is so good. Hindi eh? nagtatagpo eh. No? Hello? Begin to live out God's goodness in your life. By giving. Don't be selfish. Give. By acts of Kindness. Alam niyo, marami po ngayon, diskurahe. Marami talagang latang-lata. Marami na di-depress. Malay mo, one act of kindness na galing sa'yo, na pinaranas mo sa iyong kapwa. Malay mo, masabi nung tao na yun, may Diyos pa pala. Wala ko walang Diyos. By giving, by acts of kindness, or by simply smiling. Alam nyo, ngiti na nga lang. Kinukuripot nyo pa eh. No? Kayo po ba yung nandyan pa? Ngiti na lang, tinitipit pa natin. 
Di ba pag pinibless ko kayo sa prayer, ano yung prayer? The Lord bless you, the Lord keep you. Anong kasunod? The Lord makes His face shine upon you. In other words, pag, tapos receive, receive pa tayo. I receive! Ano pa yun? I receive! No, paglabas, makasimangot na yun naman. Pag sinabi mong, I receive, tapos paglabas po dyan, nagniningning ang mukha mo, kaya nahiran, amen? Nakasmile! Amen! Next time na pumunta kayo ng church, maghanap kayo ng face shield na merong smiley, kaya nahiran, amen? Para naman matuwa ako. Hallelujah! Whew. Amen? Show others the goodness of God by, believe it or not, by helping. By serving. You know, if, kayo na mga young people, if you have parents na hindi pa na believer, you know, maybe, one of the best thing that you can do in the house is, you know, music to the ears, yung, Mom, Dad, how can I help? How can I serve? Wow. Simple, but impactful. Get up and light up. And everybody said, Amen. Number two, how do you light up? Shout out. Alam nyo, very particular ako dun sa dito. No? Sabi ko, isigaw mo! Shout out hope! You know why? Kasi, ang daming mga boses na negative ngayon na mas malalakas. There are many negative voices that a lot of people are hearing. That is why, as a believer, as a Christian, you need to shout out hope. Can I hear an amen? Be the voice of hope to this dark generation. And everybody said amen. There are a lot of negative voices these days. You have to be the voice of hope. What you absorb, you emit. Question. What are you absorbing these days? Are you absorbing fear? Anxiety? Worry? Negativity? Is that what you are absorbing? No wonder toxic ang lumalabas. No wonder, reklamo. No wonder, galit. Tampo. Oh, sabi mo sa katabi mo, I forgive you, hallelujah. Come on, hallelujah, come on. Oh, practice, ka. imagine mo, yan yun yung nakasakit sa'yo, hallelujah. No, hallelujah. No? Thank you, Lord. Lesson. Be a good absorber and you will be a good emitter. You absorb God's glory and you will emit grace, hope, and faith. And everybody said amen. Come on, church, are you here with me right now? Come on, hallelujah. When you see Wounded people, broken people, disconnected people, be the voice of hope for them. You overcome the voice of darkness by shouting out, hope has a name and his name is Jesus Christ. Come on! Amen! Naghihintay lang yung mga tao sa'yo. There is hope. God is able. With God, all things are possible. Magtiwala ka lang sa Diyos. Hallelujah. Walang imposible sa Kanya. Come on, palapakan mo si Lord dyan. 
That's why today we are singing new songs. And I just pray na, you know, magkaroon ng revelation sa inyo yung mga new songs that we are singing at church right now that captures the spirit and the heart of our prophetic word. We will keep on singing it over and over again until, you know, you appreciate it. You know, kanina, inawit natin yung Your Name. I love that song today. Your Name. You know, let me just uh, quote that. Sabi dun sa kanta, Your Name. Sabi nung kata, Are you broken? Gusto kong awitin. Nakalimutan ko yung melody. Hallelujah. Nakalimutan ko talaga. Hallelujah. Asan yung ano? Asan ka dyan? Hallelujah. Hindi ko talaga maalala. Okay, itutula ako na lang. Are you broken or ashamed? He's calling. To the anxious or afraid, there's only one whose name is greater. And then the next line says, there is power. Thank you, Pastor Ru. Power, I love this line. Power, there is power, power, power in the name. Ito yung gusto kong part. Healing, freedom, peace I can't explain. Mountains bow, walls come down. At the name of Jesus, there is nothing greater. There is nothing greater. There is nothing greater than your name. <sighs> Get up and light up. And we say amen. Rise, shine, for your light has come into you. Show how good God is. Shout out hope. And last but not the least, share the gospel. Come on. Come on, church. I think, you know, bumalak pa ka lang matindi dyan. That's what this dark world needs today. You know, men and women of God, hallelujah, who are excited, hallelujah, to bring the good news in a world full of bad news. Mas, masyado ng maraming bad news. Ang problema, kung misan, kung ta, kung misan tayo mga Kristiyano, mas pinapakigan natin yung bad news, kaya hindi ka makapagsabi ng good news, hallelujah. Woo! It's time to share the good news. And everybody said, Amen. Come on, palapakan mo nga si Lord John, hallelujah. Woo! Don't spread bad news. Proclaim the gospel, the good news. And everybody said, Amen. Kaya ako po, you know, every Sunday, you know, I never get tired of sharing the good news. What is the gospel? Ito lagi talagang nag-apoy ako every time I say this. What is the gospel? Jesus Christ came. Jesus died on the cross. Jesus rose from the dead. And Jesus is coming back. Are you excited about that? Amen. Kaya nga sa ating mga Kristiyano, may kanta tayo kanina. You know, yung iba kasi ang kanta nila, this is the end, this is the end. Tapos na, tapos na ang buhay ko. Pero sa atin, ano sabi nung kanta? This is not the end. God is not finished yet with you. And what He started, He will finish. Come on, palapakan mo si Lord John. Hallelujah. Could you please shout to your neighbor, sabi mo sa kanya, this is not the end. Come on. Ooh. Not the end of the world. He's coming back. And let me dare say this to you and me right now. I said to you and me as well. It's about time. It's about time. Kung tutuo kang kristyano, kung, gusto mo, kung tutuo mong naranasan ng kabutihan ng Diyos, Kung totoo mong sinasabing pinatawad ka, pinalaya ka, nagbago, na born again ka. It's about time. Everybody say, it's about time. Come on, shout to your neighbor, sabi mo sa kanya, it's about time. It's about time. Don't hide your faith. Come on, palapakan mo si Lord John. Yung, 
Yung mga kapitbahay mo, kaya yung mga kaibigan mo, ay, born na ganyan ka pala, no? Hindi, hindi ko alam yung mga, no? It's about time. Don't hide your faith. Share your faith. Your faith that is alive. Faith that is active. And everybody said, come on, palakpakan mo si Lord. And everybody said, Amen. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Romans 1, 16 and 17. Ang, sabi, ang ganda lang dito, sabi ni Paul, For I am not ashamed of the gospel. Sino makapagsasabihin yan? I am not ashamed of the gospel, for it is the power of God for salvation to everyone who believes, to the Jew first, and also to the Greek. Come on, palapakan mo si Lord John. Hallelujah. Oh, for it, in it, the righteousness of God is revealed from faith to faith, as it is written, the righteous shall live by faith. Come on, hallelujah. Tell your neighbor, don't hide your faith. Everybody shout, it's about time. There's too much darkness in this world. And you're saying, this little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. I'm going to let it shine. It's about time to share your hope story. Hello. Hello. It's about time. Don't be shy. Don't be ashamed. Somebody out there is just waiting for your story. <laughs> They all have a story of being knocked down and wounded. And they yet to hear a story that has been changed by the power of the gospel. And that is you. You are the gospel. Your life is the message. Can I hear an amen? Can I hear an amen? Share your hope story. Share what God has done in your life. The world is waiting for the church to wake up. Wake up, church! Wake up from your slumber! Awaken your church, Lord! It's about time. It's about time. You know why? When you light up, God's light and glory, believe it or not, attracts the lost and the broken. When you light up and the glory of God is manifesting, it attracts the lost and the broken. Why? Because people are attracted to the glory of God. You know why? Because they are being reminded of what is missing in their lives. The goodness and you show that. Come on, church. It's about time. What was lost in the garden? Ikabod. The glory has departed when Jesus Christ came. He restored that glory. Isaiah 60, look at this. Look at this. Let's read it again. Isaiah 60, verses 1 to 3. Sabi niya, rise, shine, for your light has come. And the glory of the Lord is risen upon you. The whole darkness shall cover the earth and deep darkness to people. But the Lord will arise over you and His glory will be seen upon you. Look at verse 3. Look at verse 3. The Gentiles shall come to your light and kings to the brightness of your rising. It is an upward Push, and it is an outward movement. When you rise, it lifts you upwards and outward moves you outward to share what God has done in your life. The world outside is waiting for your light. Come on, give God praise. Tell your neighbor right now, it's about time. I want to jump off to verse 9. You know, a very interesting verse that I hope you will all appreciate today. Look at this. Pastor Jer, this is a moment of revelation. Sabi dyan, ito pa yan. Surely, sabi dyan, the coastlands wait, shall wait for me. Pati yung mga nasa coastland daw, sabi ni Lord, naghihintay sa akin to see my light. Sabi niya, and the ships of Tarshish will come first to bring your sons from afar. 
their silver and their gold with them to the name of the Lord your God and to the Holy One of Israel because He has glorified you. Go back to the, to the first line. Sabi niyan, yung first line sabi niyan, in the ships of Tarshish. I want you to notice the word Tarshish. You know, what in the world does that mean, Pastor Anthony? Ano yan, you know? Ano yan, pagkain? You know, like, a, you know, Tarshish. What is that? Is that a chocolate or a dessert? Or a tarshish, you know? One dessert, no? Tarshish. What, what does that signify? Listen. If you're familiar with the book of Jonah, you know, the one who was, you know, hit nasa isang malaki is that? Some people call it whale. Listen. Did you know that Jonah took a ship to Tarshish when he was running away from God? He took a ship from Tarshish when he was running away A lot of people today have run away from God. But when you and I get up and light up, those who are running away from God will return like the prodigal son to the Father's house. Can I hear an amen? And there is joy and celebration in the house of the Father when the lost comes back to God. The ships of Tarshish will come back to God. Those who are running away will see a great light. All because you and I got up and lit up with the glory and the greatness of God. Can we give the Lord a big, big hand of praise? Would you please rise, church? Come on, everybody just rise. Those of you at home, come on, just, you know, rise from your comfortable seats. Come on, hallelujah. Rise from your bed right now. Bahashikaraba, kandaraba, handaraba. Woo! Healing. Seven healing. Freedom. Peace I can't explain. Woo! Mountains bow. Walls come down. At the name of Jesus healing freedom peace I cannot explain mountains bow walls come down at the name of Jesus would you bow your heads right now, church, Abahasha, and allow the Holy Spirit right now. Father, in Jesus' name, Lord, I am talking, I am praying, first of all, Lord God, Lord, to the believers, Lord God, to those who were born again, given a new life, hallelujah, to those who are followers of Jesus Christ. Father, right now, oh God, I pray, Lord, right now, come on. Can you just lift your hands right now? Come on, hallelujah. If you're a believer, come on. Lift your hands. Come on, hallelujah. Father God, right now, by the power of your Spirit, Lord God, awaken us, oh God. Hallelujah. Let the sleeping believer, sleeping church, arise. Hallelujah. Wake up. Hallelujah. Revive us. Renew us. Refresh us. And let the light inside of us shine forth, oh God. Let the power of your Spirit, oh God, lift us up, Father God, so that our light can shine to this dark world. Hallelujah. Oh, Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, Lord. Fill us up right now. Come on. Just, uh, just ask God right now. If you're a believer right now, come on. Say, Lord, fill me up, Father God. Revive me. Renew me. Awaken me. Hallelujah, Lord God. In Jesus' name, Lord, let your light shine upon us. Let your light drive every dark soul, dark situation, Father God. In Jesus' name, Lord. Every dark place, oh God. We speak Jesus. We speak hope. Come on, church. Hallelujah. We speak the goodness of God. Hallelujah. Well, God, we speak the good news. Jesus. Hallelujah. He came. He died. He rose again. And He is coming back. Hallelujah, Lord. Ibalik mo yung apoy namin, Father God, right now. Oh, Lord God, restore, oh God. Rabashaka Taraba. 
Oh, the joy of our first love. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, now I speak, Lord God, to those who have never experienced you, Father God, in the name of Jesus, Lord. Oh, to those who are here, oh God, first time guests, hallelujah. Lord, right now, we bind and rebuke and pull down every darkness, Lord God, in their lives, in the name of Jesus, oh God. Heal every wound, those who were knocked down, lift them up, Father God, with your grace in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Those who were broken, make them whole again. Heal them by the power of Jesus Christ. Let healing, let freedom, oh, let the mountains bow. Every pride, we pull it down in Jesus name oh God every stronghold Father God oh breaking down in Jesus name Lord we speak healing right now we speak freedom in Jesus Christ's name we pray and all God's people say amen and amen and amen pwede ba natin palapakan si Lord John hallelujah amen church hallelujah come on let's sing out hallelujah oh yes Lord
embrace power. power yes. Power in the Come on, name. proclaim that. Declare that. Freedom, peace I can't explain. Mountains bow, walls come down. about the lights are close you are so close right now to experience the greatest miracle that could ever happen in your life when the light comes into your life his name is Jesus hallelujah the name above all names come on open your heart right now receive your king your savior your lover hallelujah oh would you pray this prayer with us right now? Come on. Pray this prayer of repentance and faith. Say, Dear Lord Jesus. Come on, say with all your heart. Say, Dear Lord Jesus. Today, I come to you. I recognize I am a sinner in need of a great Savior. Jesus, be my Savior. I repent of all my sins. Forgive me, Forgive me, cleanse me, cleanse me change, change me, heal me, heal me. Set, me free set me free by faith, by faith. and by your, grace. by your grace. In my heart, in my heart. and in my mouth, in my mouth. I, confess I confess you came, you, came. you, died, for you died for me, you rose from the dead, from the dead. and you're coming back. Oh God, thank you. Jesus, Jesus. Today, today I receive, I receive the, gift the gift of eternal life. Eternal I stand, I stand by faith, by faith. Forgiven, forgiven, redeemed, saved, saved, and have eternal life. Thank you, Jesus. From this day forward, this day forward I, will love you, I will love you. I will honor you. I will honor you and I will follow you. I will follow you. In your name I pray. And all God's people say amen and amen and amen. Can we give a big, big hand of praise, church? Come on, hallelujah. If you just pray that prayer with all your heart, you know what the Bible says? Woo! As many, John 1 12, as many as receive him and believe in him, to them gave he the power and the privilege to become a child of God. Hallelujah. Welcome to your new life in Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Welcome home. We are now your one big spiritual family. You are now a child of God. Hallelujah. This is your homecoming. And you can call him your good, good, good father. Hallelujah. Amen. Are you excited tomorrow? Hallelujah. 30 minutes every day. Hallelujah. You know, uh, kung yung is, uh, marami sa atin talagang, you know, ilang oras sa social media, you know, 30 minutes of quality time, reading the word and praying, powerful, it can change your life. And everybody said, Amen. Hallelujah. Are you ready to be blessed, church? Hallelujah. Lift your hands up high. Come on. Hallelujah. The Lord bless you. The Lord keep you. The Lord makes His face shine upon you. The Lord bless you with His glory, with His goodness. The Lord bless you with answered prayers. The Lord bless you with open doors. The Lord bless you with breakthroughs. The Lord bless your family in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And all God's people say, Amen and Amen. God bless you. See you in our prayer works. See you next Sunday. In Jesus' name.